furious. There's lots of things to hate in the world, but this video is about the pretentious man's television. It's 100 reasons to hate the theatre! Ooh, um, I think I'll get a packet of minstrels from the uh, theatre bar here. How much will that be? £6.50! You're taking a piece! There's always someone who books a seat in the middle aisle and turns up right before the show starts, so he has to squeeze past everyone else. If you book in the middle, you come first, dickhead! And the worst thing they do is when the player's finished and they want to leave, they get impatient. They say to you, oh, sorry, can I just squeeze past there? What do you think I'm doing, mate? Do you think I live in the theatre? We're all leaving! Oh, uh, how many people does this place see? One thousand? Four urinals and one cubicle, please! Actors are all wankers. The most annoying part is, they can see you, but when I try and wave at one of them, I get fuck all back. The amount of bowing that the actors do. Um, I'm the one who's been holding a piss in for two hours, you should be clapping me! The safety curtain. Oh, don't worry everybody, we're safe now! There's a curtain! There's not enough leg room in the seats. Apparently, this is because in the olden days, we were a foot shorter and we were a foot narrower. Well, guess what the olden days isn't? Now! Ushers are the most patronising people on the planet. Row D, seat 45. Yep, that's just over to you. I think I can guess where row D is. Um, oh, is it going to be just behind row C, just in front of row E? And you're never going to believe the ideas I've got about where seat 45 might be. Why do they sell ice cream in the interval? Are we at a beach? No, we're in the shitty theatre. Audience participation. I didn't book to see a pantomime. Oh, oh yes, you did. Fuck off. Sometimes they have a plaque on the back of a seat because it's been left to a dead person. I just wanted to try and enjoy a play and now I'm sad. Every theatre has got a ghost. 100% every theatre has got a ghost and that's just acceptable, is it? Top three theatre plays you shouldn't see with a ghost. Mamma Mia, because the ghost might have died in the Battle of Waterloo. Les Miserables, because the ghost might have died in the Battle of Waterloo. Cats, because it's shit. There's always some loser who tries to start a standing ovation. There is no sadder sight in the world than that not paying off. There's always someone whose phone goes off. You've got one job to do, put your phone on silent. What, you thought you were going to FaceTime the player to your gran? That's piracy, and it's unacceptable. MUSICALS! The Phantom of the Opera is shit. The West End is too London centric. What about Northerners who want culture? And when it does come on tour up north, it's always with a shitter cast. I want to see Mark Rylance, not the guy who played Mark Fowler. Kevin Spacey as technical director of the old Vic. They should call that place the old Perth! Restricted view seats. Oh yeah, it's 20 pound less, but it's a big old fucking column, so you can't see anything at all. I've been selling some restricted view seats at my house for the Lion King. You can't see a fucking thing! The curious incident of the dog in the nighttime is shit as well! I was in a restricted view seat one time, and in the middle was a blind man! Um, <laughs> excuse me, mate! Take your sunglasses off and get behind this column, you piece of shit! I got my own back, because in the interval, I pretended I was an usher, I led him back to my seat! Autograph collectors. Losers! The Harry Potter play is in two parts. Part one, absolute piss take. Part two, money grabbing! Just turn it into a film! Post show Q&As. I've got a question for you. How do you make that so shit? And how sorry are you? People always say about the theatre, your senses are heightened. Yeah, they are. The sense of hearing, the heavy breathing of the person sat next to you, the sense of smell of the guy from Hollyoaks on stage doing a shit monologue, the sense of disappointment that you paid £30 on an adaptation of Romeo and Juliet where Romeo's vaping! Theatre seats don't have cup holders. Oh, what, I'm just going to put my Pinot Grigio right there? With my dick resting up against it, am I? We're having some people around at our house. Why don't you come? We're putting all the settees in rows, all looking straight forward, not looking at each other like we're on a fucking bus. Last time I checked, ABBA were a Swedish band. That musical should not be set on a sunny Greek island. It should be a Scandi Noir, where they've got three men that are trying to find out which one of them killed Meryl Streep. <laughs> when someone in a play forgets their lines, they should have to tap out, and one of the guys in the background playing the tree should get to do it. Amdram. The worst type of dram. Shakespeare said, if music is the food of love. Let me stop you there, Bill. It's not the food of love. I know what the food of love is. It's Nando's. And I'm sick of saying this. You cannot 
taste sounds. Hmm, there's a pneumatic drill over there. You can order drinks for the interval. I don't think that far ahead. I don't know what I want in an hour's time. I might be a completely different person in the interval. The play could change me. I could have a JD and Coke waiting for me in the interval. All I want to do is down a Cronenberg. All right, maybe one good thing about a theatre, you get to eat in the dark. Yeah, fine. I like that. I got my little bag of minstrels eating in the dark. If you eat in the dark in any other situation, it's weird. Not in the theatre. <laughs> if I go home, Having my dinner, steak and kidney pie. Lights out, please! It's not all bad. I mean, I, I, I actually, I saw a play last week. Absolutely banging! An actor, they come out from the audience. They come out from the crowd. You're like, whoa, holy shit. I don't know who to trust anymore. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only person who's booked a ticket for this thing. It's the best, most raw life performance there is. And I love it. Won't have a bad word said against it. The ushers are all fantastic. Yeah, they could probably be a bit patronising, but they're drama students. They want to be up there on the stage with these guys. Some of the set, the set design as well. Set design is phenomenal sometimes. I saw a play that had, um, it was raining. You didn't miss any of that. It was raining inside. I like it. I like the theatre. I don't know. Um, like and subscribe.